Hi there. This is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on system of nonlinear equations. Nonlinear equation says basically it's a fancy word to say equation does not produce a line. Instead, it might produce a curve this way or probabilis, something that's not a linear curve. All right. So the system equation here we're looking for is the product of two numbers is x, y is equal to 91. That's the sentence one. And the sum of their squares is 218. We were asked to find those two numbers. Now this one is kind of a little, what I call a cute equation, because you realize x2 times xy is equal to 2 times 91. And giving the x squared plus y squared equal to 218. Now, if you add those equations after modifying a little bit, you can see on the left hand side you have a very easy and interesting equation in that it's a square, sum of square. This one does give us a little easier equation to deal with than if you were trying to multiply this and put it in there, substitute it. So now we have two equations, x plus y equal to 20, x times y equal to 91. Is it fair? We do this trick? Not really, but are we going to do it? Yep, yes we are. If you have a shortcut, use it. Okay, so well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for x, x is 20 minus y, and then I'll substitute back in there so I have uh, I don't have x anymore, so I have 20 minus y times y is equal to 91. And this one, it's a pretty easy quadratic equation. So minus y squared plus 20y minus 91 equal to 0. Or if you prefer getting rid of the minus sign, it might be a little easier. And here we can easily factor it, y equal to so y is equal to 13 or y equal to 7. Since x plus y equal to 20, of course, then x equal to 7. So either way, the two numbers you're looking at is 7 and 13. Okay, so it's a relatively easy one. And the only big thing is you need to recognize you are looking for two, not two nonlinear equations. One is a linear. Well, actually, both of them are nonlinear equation because this technically, if you were to graph it, it's a circle. And this graph is actually x times y is equal to, so it's a curve, it's a nonlinear curve. All right, hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.